And it's not easy. Look, life, that's when life gets hard. Because when you try and do it, nothing's working. You're going you're gonna to want to give up. It's like a race. See, when you're running, I don't know who runs it, but when you're running, you get that little voice in the back of your head, yeah, telling you, oh, stop, you can't, like, give up your time, make, like, telling you bare stuff, yeah. It's the same with life. When you're working, that little voice is telling you, oh, you can't do it, you can't do it. What makes you think you can, what makes you, think you can do it? And the day that you learn how to beat that voice, that's when you're gonna learn how to, that's when you're gonna learn not to give up when time gets hard. And by doing that, that's when you have to write your whys. Why are you doing this? Why am I working so hard? Why am I doing that like, eight, like the 75 hours a day shift? Like you need to wrap your wise. And if your wise is only to make money, you're gonna fail. Because when I started, all I wanted to do is make money. I didn't care about anything else. Then I went for months, months, no money. I thought to myself, maybe business is not for me. Then junior, then my, that junior, I see my, my brother was telling me, nah, that's not how it works. When you start, forget about the money, forget about everything. Just do the work and the money awards success will just come, come after. So I thought, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I start thinking about the money, I start putting in the work. Now every, like every, every week when I wake up, I've got five different emails from clients or people that want, that want me to come speak for them. And I charge from 70 to 250. If you want me to speak for the whole day, it's 950. And I do different speeches every week, up and down London, sometimes outside London as well. Everything started with a vision. And the next thing I tell you is show up. See what everyone done today, you showed up. I had 75% of success happens by just showing up. So if you want to do it, is you're gathering a recipe to become successful. If you, want, if, you, if you give up now, and that, when that day comes, let's say the day to bake the cake, you're going to think to yourself, raw, I should have showed up to every single class. That's when you need to change your standards. Like, you change your shoulds into must. I must show up to this. I must, I must. Stop saying, oh, I should, I should go to that event. I should do this. I should do that. You need to start saying, I must go there. I must show up. I must show up to business events. I must show up to my class. Because you don't want to miss anything. Because what you're doing, you're gathering the recipe to success. That's what you're doing. That's what show up is that. That's why I showed up for like nine months straight. Even though no, no one wanted to talk to me because I was that kid in the corner. So now everyone's reaching out to me. Oh, I've got this business idea. I've got this. I've got that. But I sit down and think to myself, bro, when I needed help, no one wanted to help me. But business is business, it's strictly profit. If you got an idea, I'll work with you. If I know I'm making money off it, so it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is work. Like I said, I've got kicked out of college. I'm not the smartest, I'm not the smartest in the room. I'm, I don't come from a highly educated family or a rich family, but the difference is, I will not outwork me. I refuse to be outworked. I, I didn't, like, when I started businesses and that, I didn't have the best resources. Sometimes I could improvise and thank God for my internet cafe as well. I've got internet cafe five minutes away from my house, like, and my internet is slow. So when I work, is working, and my laptop here, I don't know what country I'm gonna go from. When it's working, yeah, it works, it works, it works, and it just shuts down. <laughs> deletes everything. So when, when that happens, yeah, I just go to the internet cafe and just carry on my work. That's why that's like, like everyone's got the same 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. Like Bill Gates, I don't, I don't know how much he's worth, that like certain billion, yeah. He does not have 35 hours in a day. We all have the same 24 hours. If you're sleeping for eight hours, if you're sleeping for eight hours, thinking, yeah, I'm smart, yeah, I've got the best resources, this, that. I, I don't say it like that. I'll sleep for two hours. You're, you're, you're waking up at 10 in the morning. I'm up at eight, I, I, I'm, no, I'm up at two in the morning working. By the time you wake up, if you see it as a race, by the time you wake up, I'm finished, I'm done with the race. So see it as a race. Don't think that, oh, because I'm smart and I can do this, that, that. Nah, it doesn't work like that. You have to learn to outwork everyone. My goal is to outwork junior. When I started, I had no business, no nothing. Now I've got three businesses to my name. What I do that. Like, I mean, I've done over 20 speak, like over, over, over 20 talks in 20 different, 20 different uni colleges. Got nominated for four awards this year. And the thing is, this time last year, I was putting in everywhere. I was in, um, like, when I start a business, do I do this, that, that? Like, when I used to call him, yeah, I know this guy used to avoid my calls and lie to me. <laughs> avoiding my calls bare times. Now, I got nominated for that like, entrepreneur of the year. So I'm, I was going through the list here, top five young entrepreneurs here. I'll go through the list. I was thinking it's people like me, but it was self-made millionaires. I'm looking at that raw. And we had to go in for an interview as well. 
I was, I was expecting to see a couple of black people. I thought that was the only black guy there. I was thinking, oh. And I started, then I started walking thinking, yeah, I'll run this. But I, was the, <laughs> I was the youngest. Everyone was over 20, 30, Bernard's age. <laughs> Everyone thinks I thought, you know what, I'll run this. As soon as I came out, I was like, yo, June, fam, yeah, I said, I don't want to win, you know. I'm not sure, the thing's next week. So yeah, I'm going to find out. I still run this, I don't know when I'm going to win. Everyone got numbers for running this. Can we take a seat? Because when I started yeah, going to events and I used to start in the back. Now I'm at the front doing back to back, back to back talks with Junior and I thought, yeah. Then I won my first award, he was there, everyone was there. I thought, yeah, I'm the man now. <laughs> Also said something. That is true. Um, you also said something which I think is really, really powerful, <coughs> which was about showing up. Whatever happens, showing up. And someone said something similar to me, uh, which is it doesn't matter how many numbers you have on your phone. If you don't use them, it doesn't matter. You've got to be present. So, what's the one tip if you ever, you know, you're ever in a situation where you need to get somewhere, but there's blocks and there's things in your way? What's the one tip that you would give to people? to get over that. You yeah, have faith, have faith. Because when, like, when I said show up here, but I mean I had no money to go to business events yet, I had a one way ticket. I was thinking, do I walk there and take the bus back, or do I take the bus there or walk there? That was so I was thinking, you know what? If I take the bus there, then I'm gonna get there early. I'm gonna get there before them. But if I get there a bit late, Everyone's going to focus on me. So I thought, you know what, let me just walk there. And then have faith. It's faith is everything. Cool. Yeah, you have to leave your friends. Because, yeah, raise your standards. Because if you're, if you're hanging around with a free broke person, you're definitely going to be a fourth broke person. <laughs> <laughs> if you're hanging around with successful people, like Bernard, Junior, Lauren, you're going to think, when you're, when you're around them, you're looking, you're looking, thinking, I want that. Every time I go to his house, I see the awards and that, I'm thinking, I want that, I want that. And when I go back to, to the ends and that, there's people wearing the same clothes talking about nothing, saying you didn't keep it real. But last time I checked, keeping it real doesn't pay my mom's bills. Oh. Obviously, she raised your standards. <laughs> I see that's going to be on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, any, any, thank you. It's a good question. Oh, grown, I'm, Jake, I'm 19. I've got a delivery of removal company, sales and marketing, and eco startup. So that teaches you how to start your own business, guides, videos, everything. <laughs>